ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਦ ਸੰਗਤ ਹੈਲਥ ਟੀਵੀ ਸ਼ੋ ਲੈਟਸ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਡਿਮੈਂਸ਼ੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਆਈ ਵੁਡ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਰੀਡ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਏ ਮਨ ਮੇਰੀਆ ਤੂੰ ਸਦਾ ਰਹੋ ਹਰ ਨਾਲੇ ਓ ਮਾਈ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਰਿਮੇਨ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਲੋਰਡ ਹਰ ਨਾਲ ਰਹੋ ਤੂੰ ਮਨ ਮੇਰੇ ਦੁੱਖ ਸਭ ਵਿਸਾਰਨਾ remain always with the lord o oh my mind and all the sufferings will be forgotten angi karo oh kare tere karaj sab sawarna he will accept you as his own and all your affairs will be perfectly arranged sabna gala samrat swami sokyo manu visare our lord and master is all powerful to do all things so why forget him from your mind keh nanak man mere sada raho har nale says nanak oh my mind remain always with the lord sangat ji today we're going to talk about dementia or the mark the kamzuri dementia is a condition where your mental abilities be it in maths be it in doing your finances your memory thinking it becomes slightly weaker for whatever reason and we use an umbrella term called dementia so today on the show we have with us dr rabjot kaur hello registrar psychiatrist bhai ji khasa bhai fateh ji dr neva hegde a consultant psychiatrist from birmingham namaste mr amarjit sagu from alzheimer society dementia advisor bhai ji khasa bhai ji fateh and dr parminder kosani vajik khalsa vajik fate sat sangat ji he is gp in birmingham and that myself is dr harpri ko a junior doctor who's working in newcastle at the moment and also dr jasveer singh ji consultant physician coming from london so aunty ji over to you over to me acha ji mera naam parminder hai ji as you said kindly thank you main gp hai and plus main i work with some charities uh, as well te main as a primary care bahut sare mareez is tarah de jis tarah tusi kya ke zyada senior log hunde ne thode je young vi hai gaya young means around 50s and oh unnan nu ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗੇ ਜਾਂ ਨਾ ਲੱਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸੋਚਣ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਕਤੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਫੈਸਲੇ ਲੈਣੇ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਾਰੋਬਾਰ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਲੀਗਲ ਮੈਟਰਸ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਥੋੜੇ ਜਿਹੇ ਹੈਂਡਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਪਾ ਰਹੇ ਜਾਂ ਸੋਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਦੇ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਮਝਾਇਆ ਕਿ ਭਾਈ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਡਿਮੈਂਸ਼ੀਆ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵੀ ਕੋਈ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਡੇ ਐਕਸਪਰਟ ਲੋਕ ਦੱਸਣਗੇ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੁੱਛਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਵੀਰ ਜੀ ਅਮਰਜੀਤ ਨੂੰ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਕਿਉਂ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਕਿਉਂ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਡਿਮੈਂਸ਼ੀਆ ਬਾਈ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੁੜੇ ਲੋਕ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਆ ਮੇਰੇ ਵਰਗੇ ਪਰ ਪਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਦੱਸੋ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਵਾਈ ਇਜ਼ ਇਟ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਐਨਐਚਐਸ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਵੀ ਫੈਮਲੀਆਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਵੀ ਮਰੀਜ਼ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਮਝਾਓ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਨ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਫਿਊ ਮਿੰਟਸ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਆ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਐਨਐਚਐਸ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਸ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਯੂਜ਼ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਜਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਾ ਡਰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਸਾਡਾ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗ ਨਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਯਾਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹਿੰਦੀ ਤਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਡਰ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਨਾ ਨੂੰ ਚੱਕ ਕੇ ਲੈ ਲੈਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਤੇ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਫੀਲ ਦੈਟ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਰ ਅਫਰੇਡ ਟੂ ਯੂਜ਼ ਦੀ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਸ ਸੋ ਐਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਹੁਣ ਥੋੜੇ ਬਹੁਤੇ ਤਾਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਭੁੱਲ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਭੁੱਲ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਸੰਭਾਲ ਕੇ ਚੀਜ਼ ਰੱਖੀ ਆ ਭੁੱਲ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਆ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਐਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀ 5 ਮਿੰਟ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਚੇਤਾ ਭੁੱਲ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਐਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬਿਹੇਵੀਅਰਸ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਚੇਂਜ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਕਰਨ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਹੂੰ ਹੂੰ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ 65 ਤੇ ਰਿਟਾਇਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਤੰਗ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਕੰਮ ਤੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਕੰਮ ਤੋਂ ਆਉਣਾ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਚੱਕਣਾ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੇਖਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਬੱਚੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਪਰ ਫੇਰ ਵੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਤੰਗ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਕਿ
ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਹਾਰਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਦਾ ਸਹਾਰਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਇੰਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਸੀ ਫੀਲ ਦੈਟ ਡਿਮੈਂਟਰ ਇਜ਼ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਇਟਸ ਅਫੈਕਟਿੰਗ ਆਵਰ ਅਬਿਲਿਟੀ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਆਰ ਡੇ ਟੂ ਡੇ ਲਾਈਵਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਆਵਰ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਓ ਚੇਂਜਡ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਸੋ ਐਸ ਇਟ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਗਲਤੀ ਹੈ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਦੀ ਮਤਲਬ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਹਾਲਾਤ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਫਰਕ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਨਾ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਣ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਐਸ ਇਟ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਰਿਹਾ ਗਲਤੀ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਆਪਣਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਮਾਜ ਸਾਰਾ ਲਾਈਫ ਸਟਾਈਲ ਹੈਗਾ ਨਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਸਾਡਾ ਚੇਂਜ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝਣਾ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਾ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਵਾਰੀ ਕੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਰ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਦੇ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ ਤੇ ਪਾਉਣ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਕਰੇ ਇਹ ਕਰੇ ਕੁੜੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਰ ਪਾ ਦੇਣਾ ਲੋਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਰ ਪਾਣਾ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਹ ਕੰਮ ਕਰੋ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਐਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਕਿ ਸਾਰੇ ਉਹ ਆਰ ਦੀ ਹੂੰ ਜ਼ਿੰਮੇਵਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਡਿਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਜਸਟ ਅ ਕੰਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਚ ਅਫੈਕਟਸ ਜਸਟ ਦ ਪਰਸਨ ਬਟ ਇਟ ਅਫੈਕਟਸ ਆਲਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਦ ਹੋਲ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਵਿਚ ਮੇਕਸ ਇਟ ਸੋ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਅਮ ਦੂਸਰੀ ਐਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਇਹ ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹ ਸਾਫ ਏਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਅਸੀਂ ਮਦਦ ਕਰ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਮਦਦ ਮੰਗਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਜੇ ਹੁਣ ਉਹ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਐਨਜੀਓਸ ਕਹਿ ਲੋ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮਦਦ ਮੰਗ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਪਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਹਾਰਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਾ ਮੰਗਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪੇ ਕਰ ਲੈਣਾ ਕੀ ਵਜ੍ਹਾ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੀ ਇਹ ਅਸੀਂ ਡਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਡਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਰਿਸ਼ਤੇਦਾਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਗਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਡਾ ਮਖੌਲ ਕਰਨਾ ਤਾਂ ਐਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਇਹ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਯਾ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਰੀਲੀ ਮੇਕਸ ਇਟ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ a lot of people in our community they're afraid of actually coming forward and seeking help mm-hmm. but really and what proportion of i mean you work with the alzheimer society so i mean how many people come to you that actually are from a punjabi or a south east asian origin bahut katta okay aur eh aise tarah di bimari hai ki sare nu ho sakti hai apne sari communities ne hundi hai par sade jehde apne log hai na south asian community bahut kat sanu approach karde hai ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਸਪੀਕਰਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਉਰਦੂ ਸਪੀਕਰਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਗੁਜਰਾਤੀ ਸਪੀਕਰਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਪਰ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਲੋਕ ਸਾਡੀ ਮਦਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੰਗਦੇ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਰੇਸ਼ਾਨੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮਦਦ ਸਾਡੇ ਤੋਂ ਮੰਗੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਹਾਰਾ ਦੇ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਪਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਆ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਚਾਹੀਦੀਆਂ ਆ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਦੇਖੋ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਲੋਕ ਮੇ ਬੀ ਵੀ ਫੀਲ ਕਿ ਸਟਿਗਮਾ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਜਾਂ ਸਾਡਾ ਕੋਈ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਵੀ ਜਿਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਮਖੌਲ ਉਡਾਏਗਾ ਜਾਂ ਬਾਕੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੈਟਸ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਇਨ ਆ ਨੇਚਰ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਬਿਮਾਰੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਹੀ ਰਹਿ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਕੈਂਸਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਸਰਵਾਈਕਲ ਸਕਰੀਨਿੰਗ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਹੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਸੋ ਅ ਸਟਿਗਮਾ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਮੇ ਬੀ ਪਲੇਇੰਗ ਬਿਟ ਆਫ ਅ ਰੋਲ ਬਾਕੀ ਨਵਜੋਤ ਦਸਿੰਘ ਨਵਜੋਤ ਜੀ ਦਸਿੰਘੇ ਜਾਂ ਨਿਭਾ ਜੀ ਦਸਿੰਘੇ ਪਰ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਦੇਖੋ ਚੁਕੇ ਅਰਲੀ ਸਟੇਜਸ ਤੇ ਡਿਮੈਂਸ਼ਿਆ ਅਗਰ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਲੈ ਆਏ ਤੇ ਜੇ ਉਹ ਆਪ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਲੀ ਕਨਫਰੰਟ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਡਿਮੈਂਸ਼
what are the numbers, you know, um, and the risk factors are associated in our Punjabi community that's associated with the dementia. So, um, Reb Jot, um, so just talking about dementia, obviously we want to try and we're talking about it a little bit more. What are the kind of s signs and symptoms of dementia? You know, how do we recognize it? Yeah, sure. So the rate at which dementia um, progresses and the symptoms that can occur, they can vary um, depending on age. Um, so it's very individual for each person. Mm -hmm. um, the early signs that we look for uh, or we note are short term memory disturbances. So difficulty <coughs> recalling recent events and the ability to learn new information um, is an issue. The, what you can watch out for is the fact that they may start to wonder where their glasses are mm. or where they've left their keys. Yes. Yeah. Um, they can sometimes struggle to find the right word mm -hmm. in a conversation and they can repeat things more often than they usually would. Mm -hmm. Uh, it can start to, you can start to kind of notice a change in mood sometimes and emotions. They might become a little bit more angry or yeah. frustrated at something. Mm -hmm. So, okay, very sometimes, um, twaddy, say, daddy ji dana, daddy ji dana. They might repeat things, jada, like for bolde, bolde, keep on saying too much sometimes, or become angry for no reason, or they might accuse accuse you things, ke aha, mira chabi itte si, hum tusi kithe rakhe ya, you know. That, that that behavior can be seen quite a lot actually in that's right yeah um, um so they might forget uh, people's names they forget recent conversations mm -hmm. um, they may start to get lost in a regular journey that they experience they're so going to the shops they might just hesitate a little bit may start to begin to forget uh, anniversaries and birthdays. Mm -hmm. Um, and as I, as I said earlier, the associated mood changes that they can experience. So when it gets a little bit worse, then the same sort of symptoms also get a little bit worse. So yadash fairy jada katrindiya. So memory problems can worsen. Um, you can notice that it affects the family. So sometimes they may not even recognize family members. Um, and also then what may happen is that, as I said earlier, going to the shops, they may hesitate, but when the memory deteriorates, then they may start to wander around in the streets. And that's quite dangerous as well, That's right, it? yeah. Kapdevi cheta pul jandene paan vaste, and turpendene baar, thandvich. So, tu si fir ethe dek sakde ho ke, matlab vaddi pe hai, condition hai ke. And actually, that's very interesting what you said because I remember when I was uh, in hospital, yeah. um, there was a gentleman, Buzurg um, Sigi, and he'd come in very, very ill, brought, brought coffee, Bumar Sigi, and he'd, he'd been found in a ditch. Yes. And uh, for four days he'd been in that ditch. And Kisinu Patavini si, or was Pana Kithe Gaisi, you know, who was he, what and, uh, information? Nobody was asked it? about Because Because he just wandered from his care mm -hmm. home. Nobody, and he was just found in a ditch and he was, he was so, so poorly and no one at that time had really realized that he was having memory problems. So... like <laughs> wander kar jande hai uh, things like gas fire chhod deti ya leave the bar chale gaye ya you know some people can become violent ya khana nahi khaya bimar pe jande hai aur unna nu kuch khansi vasi kuch apne aap nu those are really late hai na do they do you think that um the, you know the person themselves actually realize what's going on they're not aware unfortunately no. Yeah. As it gets more severe, mm. they're not aware. Mm. Um, it becomes very complicated when they have paranoid ideas. Mm -hmm. They start to hallucinate, for example. Mm -hmm. um, when it gets worse, then their sleep is affected. And like mm. Antiju said, their sleep is affected and their carnapina is affected, mm. which leads them to lose weight um, often. So actually, this is quite important as well, Sangachi, that 
you know, if you've got a heart problem, you yourself will be aware that you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, with these problems with uh, with sadi memory, you know, you yourself do not realize that you're actually getting worse. So you have to rely on your other other people around you to to pick that up. Now, just going back to what. Um, Amarjeet was saying before, you know, if our family structure is now changing, that more people are living on their own for longer, you might be on your own. These changes are happening. You're leaving your gas fire on, and no one else actually realizes this until something happens. So it's very important, actually, today that we are talking about this because this show is not only just for people who are elderly and who think, oh, I'm worried about my memory. It's for the families as well, for young, for old, because unless everybody else is aware of it, we're not going to pick this up. Yeah, correct. And then in the late signs, um, unfortunately, those things then deteriorate even further. Mm -hmm. So more severe memory problems, more severe um, mood issues, they get more angry, more frustrated, um, more paranoid thoughts then they can experience things such as urinary incontinence. Mm -hmm. So start bedwetting and not realize that they've wet the bed. Super sharp, the Hanji. Uh, bed wet the Hanji. Mm -hmm. um, soil themselves even. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that we have some sort of care around um, uh, people of this age. Mm -hmm. uh, they can sometimes get quite violent and demanding as well, which can be frustrating on the families around them, their carers and their families and friends. It may be quite difficult to understand, but they don't know themselves. And that's that's I mean that's quite typical as well. I mean sometimes we think, oh, you know, Dadiji's doing something again. He's like, oh, but then he or like, oh, Dadiji's being very stud stubborn. Yeah. You know, why are they acting like that? Yes, all sides, both sides. Um, and I think that can be very frustrating and unless you understand why they might be doing that, that might cause a bit of resentment to build up in you. And then it becomes even harder to support them because you're thinking, you know, if you don't realize why someone's being horrible, but the same way support the karnaniya, na? So really, just leo ande and prime we care the GP call, kisse bhi bahane naal, um, best is that if family doesn't confront the family, they say, you know, it's best not family, family is not diagnosed. GP call is not diagnosed, then we can do a little So what we do is that we investigate the routine, the majority of times, if people are coming to GP for a long time, and that is uh, a very Beautiful thing because we have all records, all the old okay. blood results, we have done new tests, and we then also make sure that there is no more difficulties. Sometimes aging is a little bit more, and we would rule out just now more diseases, such as long-term conditions, particularly diabetes or Parkinson's, etc. Okay. So, uh, Blood tests we can do, the cholesterol is fine, the liver is fine. So you would do like a whole screen yes, of the, of the patient? Yes, whole screen, which probably if they are regular to the GP, uh, it would have been done anyway. Yeah. But then we see this point of view, you can see anemia, that the disease is not B12, the deficiency is not, iron deficiency, etc. So anemia is the same? Haan ji, haan ji. The important thing is that before even we start investigating that the disease is coming out of the blood test form, that's it. It's not that. It's just that time is the same thing. It's 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 the same thing. But we make sure that if the family is not concerned, that we make sure that the time is the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, and particularly the duration of the whole situation. Yeah. Because if it's been a lot of years and the other problems are not there, which you mentioned, then it's a little bit easier. But if it's been a lot of 
um, it, it's a short duration of symptoms, maybe a couple of months, and there's a sudden deterioration, and and there are other things like uh, diabetes control is not Parkinson's, Changa Palasiga, Hunfir, Yagdam, you know, the patients become agitated or kuch ho gaya. We do take help, apne colleagues, nal secondary care to me, hospital to me, asi help lanya. So, the baki jada haga asi environment jadia o koshish karnya ke by sanu family structure pata lagge ke bi kon interested kon nahi. Bachandi jade badiyan kohi se families ne. Probably on an arrangement ki te ne ke bhai asi uh, saadhe parents elderly ho rahe hain te asi ki ne kis tarah look after karni hai. Uh -huh. Those are um, not such a problem. Pai kai bache jade ne door hain de hain. De cha ke bhi on parents naal nahi uh, onadi seva kar sakte even though they want that, hai na? So on an kar ke asi we need to put systems in place, okay? ते ओ असी फिर गेटवे हुन पहला ते बड़ा फ्रैगमेंटेड सी का हुन गेटवे रिफरल्स है गया एंड सो वी डू बेसलाइन असेसमेंट्स इन्वेस्टिगेशंस एंड फैमिली असेसमेंट्स एंड वी सेट आउट कि कौन केयरर करेगा कौन नहीं करेगा फैमिली दे विच होना है करों बार होना है केयर सो ओ सारी केयर प्लानिंग ते फैमिल a community the uh, gateway workers yeah. hai gaya. Una and I must say ke the situation is really much better compared Hon to what it used Hanji. to be. Hanji. So Hanji. kind of looking at so if so if someone has got if you, if you if you're a family member and if you feel that potentially your Dati ji and Nana ji, <laughs> if you feel that if someone is becoming unwell, rather than saying to them, Oh I think I think you're going a bit mad you know, it's probably to be like, oh, I think you should probably go to GP, maybe just for a general checkup, you know, goodie, goodie to check on that, MOT on um, and then, you know, go to the GP, and then that's where you can actually, you know, you can, both of you can sit down at the GP, and you can say, okay, um, I think, I think this is what's yeah, happening, uh, yeah. and then, because, like you were saying before, there's stigma attached yeah. to it, Hannah. I mean, just to interject, I mean, uh, there are memory tests that the GP can perform, uh, very simple ones, mm -hmm. uh, and you know they don't take very long and it's just a, a simple test that can be performed and, and it will give, give the GP an idea yeah. as to whether or not there is actually memory loss and so on yeah. and some of the tests and so on that they perform will give them you know it, it could be something like a urinary infection that mm -hmm. could have mm -hmm. that particular effect or a simple cold can some you know leads to confusion sometimes yeah yeah so those things will it can impact as well but that so simple test in the first stages will alert the GP to actually there is something going and then a referral can be made to the memory assessment service or the community mental health team yeah. to say well there's something that needs to be investigated and then we can they can then order scans etc that that can so rule almost, out things. So it's almost important first though when they do come to the GP mm. to make sure that there's nothing else that's causing their memory problems yeah. mm. and then after that if you really do think that there are things then you can think about is this something that we can handle just in the primary care world which is primary care, sadi GP, or um, secondary care, which is when Jodhutusi Hospital Pijana. Um, and on the line at the moment, we have uh, Dr. Mukadam, who is a consultant psychiatrist who's done a lot of research. Um, she's based at University College London. Um, lovely to meet you, Dr. Mukadam. Hi, thanks for having me on the show. Um, Dr. Kadam, I just want to ask, I mean, I know you've done, you've done a lot of research and a lot of work regarding dementia, and especially in the Southeast Asian community, um, and I just want to kind of ask a few questions if that's okay. So sure. the, the first one is, is kind of like, how common is dementia actually in the Southeast Asian community? I mean, we hear about it a lot in the, the white society, basically, um, but how common is it in the Southeast Asian and potentially even the Punjabi community as well? So in the South Asian community in the UK, we don't actually know how common dementia is oh. um, because the estimates that we have are from the 90s and they tend to be quite small studies and they showed quite a variable uh, result. So some of them showed that the, the prevalence of how common it is was the same as in the white community and some showed that the prevalence was much higher. Uh, but we don't really have any recent estimates. 
Oh, why, why is that? The data from India, which shows that dementia is actually more common than in the European population. So oh, wow. it's about eight and a half percent instead of six and a half percent of over 65 who have dementia in India compared to, you know, so a, so a lower percentage in um, European countries. Wow, that's very, it's, it's very interesting. I mean, I suppose that kind of makes me ask, why is it that our data for the UK is, is so old? Why, why is there no recent up to date? There's just not been the studies. I'm, I'm hoping to, to do a prevalence study for the South Asian community in the UK. Um, but I do a lot of research that depends on funding. And uh, yeah, I think it's just, um, it's not really been uh, a priority up until now. So a lot of the studies that have looked at the general population have just, um, you know, have just looked at dementia in generally in the over 65, but haven't looked in separate ethnic groups. So that's what I'm hoping to do. Oh, wow. Well, that sounds like a very, um, very big task you're taking on. Good luck with that. Um, Thank you. Looking at the next point, kind of, we were discussing before about dementia and kind of why is it so important but what I was also wondering as well you know what are the risk factors of dementia and um, why is it that you know we get it what puts us at risk of developing this condition so, so dementia is quite a complex disorder and um, we know lots and lots of different factors that increase the risk of having it. So there are some genetic risk factors. Um, there's a gene called apoe 4 which is uh, which increases your risk of it. But, um, but there are also many um, environmental or lifestyle factors that affect your risk of dementia. So having high blood pressure increases your risk, having diabetes increases your risk, um, and um, also not exercising much, um, having hearing loss in, in midlife can also increase your risk of uh, dementia, as can smoking. So wow. the picture that emerges is one of quite a vascular um, condition. So, so something that, you know, where cardiovascular risk factors have a huge impact on your risk of developing dementia. So really kind of like looking after your heart is important just not only for your heart, but also for your brain as well. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, you know, recently sort of public health England has been promoting the message of what's good for your heart is good for your brain. And that's true. That will, you know, that will help protect you against dementia. And that makes sense as well, because if you think about it, you've got blood that supplies your body, but also blood that supplies your brain. And if your blood supply to your brain isn't very good, then it will be affected, won't it? That's right. And I think that's why I'm so concerned about the South Asian community, because um, you know, in the UK, certainly South Asians tend to have higher rates of diabetes, high blood pressure, mm -hmm. and there's also more obesity in the um, South Asian population. So, uh, so these are concerning risk factors, and they will increase your risk not only of cardiovascular disease but also of dementia. Mm -hmm. And just just for the, our other population, um, other viewers on this uh, on the show who speak mostly Punjabi, just to say that you know. Heart disease affect it affects us as well. Um just um diabetes, blood pressure jada higher, sugar jada kanya, weight jada or or the uh and the mark don't affect karni. Um I, I would like to interject here. Uh, alcohol intake is a major cause of dementia mm. and we come across a lot of people particularly in the Punjabi community who drink a lot and chronic alcohol abuse or misuse can increase your risk of a rather nasty kind of dementia so we should insist that people should uh, cut down and stop drinking alcohol mm. and smoking is also a very major risk which can be easily preventable so these are two things you give up and you reduce the risk with a great amount. So, sharab jada peen, tasik da jada peen, or dune risk factors, yeah. Okay, so I mean, that's very important, and thank you so much, Dr. McCardin, for bringing that up. Um, so, this brings us really nicely on to our, our next uh, looking at secondary care. Um, secondary care study hospitals, yeah. Primary care study GPs, there. Yeah? So, what what are, how do how do you receive the referrals? What are you looking for when the GP refers you to secondary mm -hmm. care? Like what happens in secondary care? Okay, 
I work in Birmingham and Solihull Mental Health Trust and we have a system where all the referrals are received at a single point of access. So there's one telephone number where all the GPs can refer their patients to and from that point they are allocated to different specialties. But this system might be different in different trusts. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, the patient will always have the facility of uh, going to the GP first of all. Mm -hmm. So if the patient or the family are worried that something is not right, something doesn't seem right, um, they should seek help and they should go to the GP as first port of call. Yeah. And like we have discussed, a brief assessment will happen there and then from there onwards they will be referred to us. Mm -hmm. So our criteria is that the basic assessment has taken place, basic blood tests have taken place, which will rule out certain conditions which can also cause symptoms similar to dementia. Such as? Anemia, hypothyroidism, mm -hmm. strokes, confusion, urinary infection, alcohol intoxication. Mm. So there could be a horde of physical conditions or even mental conditions, depression, stress, bereavement, it could be anything. Mm -hmm. The, one of the criteria of diagnosing dementia is that the symptoms should have lasted for about six months. Mm -hmm. So if it is being caused by something else, they usually get better after a certain period with support and with medications. If it is not getting better, if it has lasted for something like six months, if it is getting worse with the period, then that's the alarm bell. Right. They should seek help. Right. And how to figure out whether this is age related or is it because of dementia? most people know their their friends relatives neighbors and they know how old they are how well they were functioning before and they are comparing something doesn't seem right he should be able to do all these things why is he not being able to do them now yeah so that's the point where you start noticing things and if you have awareness and education if you know what signs to look out for you will have a better information on what to tell your doctor which is the things that what Jodh was talking about Which before, is, yes. like leaving your keys in the door, yes. leaving the gas on, wandering around, yes. suddenly not being able to do toddy, you know, your finances properly or struggling to make yes. those decisions. Yes. So the dementia comes on in early, middle, late or severe stages and there is a pro-dementia syndrome also. So depending on how the person was and how they are, we sort of make a judgment. What's the pro-dementia syndrome? Sometimes dementia could have started, the process could have started, but the person is still functioning very well. Right. Let us take a person who is very highly intelligent, lawyer, manager, doctor. Such as me. Such as, me. <laughs> such as a lot of people. So even when the brain starts to uh, shut down bit by bit, they are still able to function. Right. So you would not notice things like losing their keys or um, leaving the gas on. Even when we do the memory test, they will still be scoring very highly. They will score more than 85%, 90%. But that doesn't mean they don't have the dementia illness somewhere in there. And do you think, will that person be aware? Do they think they'll have some concerns? They might. And this is where the higher cognitive function comes in. Mm -hmm. So complex decisions, complex management, problem solving, um, the tasks that they were doing initially, paperwork, office, their jobs, they start to struggle with that. Mm. They might still be doing those jobs, holding meetings, chairing meetings, doing their voluntary work or their office work, but there will be little hits and misses. Mm. And if they are worried, even if there might not be a dementia process, but what we urge is please get it tested. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please go to your GP and please ask for a referral to the specialist memory assessment mm -hmm. and then they come to us. The family won't know at that point. Probably. Family might not know at that point mm -hmm. and some people who do not have a family have neighbors. Um, other voluntary organizations, carers, paramedics, um, temple, mosques, places of worship. So people do socialize and there is somebody or the other who notices something doesn't seem right with this person and they should be the one who should be encouraging that person to seek help. Yeah, yeah, and that's actually very interesting because just going back to, obviously I've, I've been a doctor for not for very long now, but even Masati Hospital, which and he was saying, ke, uh, him and his wife actually, they were like, kuch no kuch theek nia. Mm. Mere memory in, in a theek nia. 
And uh, we did the memory tests. He got full marks out of them. And his, I, d I, think his, I think his GP actually didn't refer him on. Mm. Um, and he represented to hospital again for another problem. But, you know, when he was about to be discharged, uh, what, what is stopping you? What is worrying you the most before you leave hospital? And he was like, Mary memory, yeah. And he's a very, he's a very highly educated person. Mm. Mm. And uh, I suppose our basic tests, they didn't really assess his, mm. his highest cognitive mm. functions mm. at the time. But now, uh, since you've said that, I'm probably going to go back and just think, <laughs> oh, let me just write to his GP just to yes. make sure that actually yes. something of a higher, uh, higher function is tested. Yes. Because, you know, everybody is at risk. Yes, and we anyone. do have specialists in our team. Mm -hmm. So we've got a psychologist, occupational therapist, nurses, doctors, physiotherapists. We have a whole team. So if a person with dementia is coming to us at very, very early or very mild uh, stages, even mild cognitive impairment stage, which is not yet dementia, but there is some impairment in cognition, then we are able to check it out. Gotcha. Just to um, chip in there. Um, you can get early age dementia too. We can get dementia at any age, though it is more common in people who grow older and we have perhaps already got the slides on that. Um, it starts to, the risk starts to get more and more after the age of 65. And then at 85 years of age, you would have at least 25% of risk. Mm -hmm. So as people are living older, and that is one of the things mm -hmm. we were saying, why is dementia important? Mm -hmm. More and more people are living to a ripe and a mature age. Mm -hmm. So all the uh, medical conditions who are more prevalent in the older age are becoming more common. So as people grow old, dementia becomes more common, but it does present with uh, some younger people also, and there's mm. various causes why it does that. And I'm supposed. GP surgeries, sorry, GP surgeries, which. Uh, uh, jade ke, uh, it's highly technical now. Uh, computerized programs ne sare. Uh, we have a routine monitoring, uh, mm. 65 onwards. Pawe unnu koi hor bimari hai ya nahi hai. But uh, 65 the upper una was the sare jade questions and checks and templates, everything is there, even right from the word go. The question is ki o te ponchan kisi nal. Yeah. And I suppose the together. question is here, I mean, we've talked about the signs and the symptoms and, and why dementia is so important, but I suppose just briefly it'd be quite useful to know like I mean, why do we get dementia in a way? There are several causes. The word dementia itself is an umbrella term. What that means is under that comes a syndrome of symptoms and signs. Anything to do with loss of memory, whether it is short term, long term, episodic, whether it is attention and concentration, language abilities, ability to understand the space and the shapes, items around us, distances, ability to make judgments, solve problems, so the whole mental function is comes under the term dementia when it starts to deteriorate mm -hmm. and it is now beginning to affect the function mm -hmm. if it does not affect the function we don't label the person with dementia mm -hmm. we just say they have a mild cognitive impairment which means the cognition or the ability of mental work is going down Thori kam hui hai, lekin wo roz marra ke kaam abhi bhi kar sakte hai. Yes, you can still do your daily functions. Yes, so we use the term dementia when the daily function is beginning to get affected. So this is when you can't do your finances, this is when you find it hard to kind of do your shopping. Shopping, changed. attending to personal care, yeah. everything. Yeah. Mobility starts to get affected, um, everything. It's affecting all that parts you, of your brain. All in different parts. So Dr. Jaspir Singh Ji, um, what are your thoughts about dementia? Okay, so, so um, um, I think, I think you, you had a fantastic, had a fantastic show, show so far, far which, which has, has given, given the, the experts, experts uh, viewpoints, viewpoints and, and also, also with had GP inputs. We've got the we've got Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease society, society which which dealing, dealing with all, with all of this. this. What, what I wanted, I wanted to, share to share was my views on, on a spiritual level. Yeah, yeah, and I think, and I think all, all of you have had this compassion. compassion. Yes. 
so they are and compassion, compassion those, those are central to those, those people, people who are both serving in a, in a specific capacity, capacity mm -hmm. as, well as well as at home, home with, with their, their uh, family, family members, members. And also, and also the patients, the patients themselves. themselves, they need, they need to, learn to learn how to, how to forgive, forgive themselves. themselves. Because, because as, as, you, as, you, as you pointed, pointed out, out, a lot of them, them become, become aware, aware of the beginning, beginning. But, later, but later they, they uh, lose, lose sight, sight of that. Of that. I, think I think that what, what Guruji is telling us is to be, be within, within the hukam. The hukam meaning, hukum meaning that, that if, for example, somebody gets heart disease, Somebody, somebody has a stroke, stroke somebody, somebody develops develop dementia. dementia. They are, they are illnesses, illnesses and we should be compassionate towards, towards those who suffer, suffer from, them, from them and to try to help them through. through. Yeah, which is why knowledge is so important. That's isn't right, it? yeah. So just, well, you know, we were talking before about understanding that <laughs> maybe this, uh, you know, this, this irrational behaviour Oh, it's so annoying, but we should have that they are that compassion to actually realize that, you know, to help them. It's yeah. very difficult because um, I quite often find uh, Viji's point about compassion is very valid here because a lot of patients um, who come into the secondary care they often have disturbances with their families, um, their children, so it becomes very difficult for children to forgive their parents for things that's happened in the past and also parents to forgive their children um, because some some people are aware you know that their, ch their children have moved on um, and they become very angry about that um, or that their children have got married for example there's changes in their children's lives that sometimes they can't accept mm. and I think that's just for, that goes back to kind of the Barney that we opened the show up with that we must try and not forget you know, Babaji, we must try and remember him all the time. And I suppose we, we all suffer. You know, the, I mean, the line is, Duk sab we all suffer. Mm -hmm. But by being with the Lord, by being with God, though that suffering can be reduced. And it's hard. And also, and also, also uh, 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 Aubrey, just coming, just coming in there. In there. Um, um, Guruji, Guruji, we, we, we look, look at it. it. So, 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 so it's all it's starts on one. one. So, so we, we are meant, are meant to, believe to believe that God, God is, exists within, within his creation. creation. God is God not, not a Mr. God, Mr. God sitting, sitting up there. Up there. Uh, uh, looking, looking down at us. Yeah, exactly. God is up in the Or Kudra So, when we're treating a patient or a family member, or talking to anybody, you should you think that the joy of God, God is within, is within that, that person. So, so behave with that person that person knows that you are actually, actually communicating, communicating with God. God. Mm -hmm. because, because they are, they are God. Yeah. God is yeah. in all. And I think that, that then that helps us become more compassionate and then helps us realize, no, we need to get this person some help. Mm -hmm. We need to take them mm -hmm. to the GPs. We need to take them to secondary care. And we also need to help them realize that, you know, there's no stigma attached. So I think that's an important point, you know, that that Dr. Mm. McCardum also raised as well. Is that yes, you there you have an illness, a condition, but it's not just something. It's not just oh, Amy. It's just oh, my with the mark where did you teeth me? It is a condition, and help Res is available. Respect mm. and dignity are the most important things for any human being. Yeah. And as long as uh, the clinicians or people who come across people with dementia remember this, that this person deserves to be respected and dignified as much as anybody else. Yeah. And keeping relaxed and stress-free. Yeah, and I really think that yeah. that will encourage the health-seeking behavior. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good 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 they are, they are the a great, great place, place where people, people can show, can show that compassion. Mm. They can they actually, actually realize that somebody, that somebody may not be not behaving like they, like used, they used to. And, 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 and help, help them, them not, not talk, talk, not, not gossip, gossip, not create, not create more problems with them feeling uh, self-aware. Self -aware. 
but to but try to, try to, to kind of find a helpful, helpful uh, uh, if you like, like supportive, supportive back, uh, uh, environment. environment for them. Before we go, um, ma'am, I was looking into it uh, for this thing. Ajkal, some kids are very, or majority kids are very computer savvy and uh, their home tests they do which are available online that gives them some idea as well ke parents nu kuch ho raha hai ya nahi ho raha ya banda aap bhi kar sakta if it's reasonable mm. yeah so thank you very much everybody so that concludes kind of part one of our show so this is where we talked about you know what is dementia why is it important what are the risk factors for dementia and also kind of recognizing it and then also a little bit about how that's seen in, in first primary care and in secondary care. In the second part of our show, we're going to talk about the treatment. Um, so treatment for the patient, but also treatment for other people as well who um, are, looking after, uh, are looking after the patients. So thank you very much, Sangeetji. Why did you get called? Why did you get Looking forward to seeing you again on the next part of the show. Thank you.